Welcome back to Morning Joy, where truth matters. I'm Keith Downey, your host. And if you have children aged two through six, and maybe have used formed.org at some point or another, then you'll re- certainly recognize our next guest. Very excited here. He is a passionately Catholic convert, husband, and father. He also majored in television broadcasting at the University of Southern Indiana and is now the host of Markham, a Catholic children's show that will definitely get your children excited about sharing the light of Christ with the world. Mark Gross. Mark, good morning and welcome to the show. Good morning. Good morning. So excited to be here. Definitely. And and full disclosure, Mark, okay, my, my toddler is all about the show and I, I can't even spell the name Markham without her knowing exactly what I'm trying to bribe her with. So thank you so much for that. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. So, and it's so cool. My kids are just excited to watch it too, which is probably the dream come true. <laughs> I was about to say, yeah, that's a really good point. Like you have all these children out there that like are incredibly um, into the show, but your children, are they like, like, they're like, oh yeah, that's my dad. It's kind of like, I guess, like a superhero. Like I have almost two different personas. <laughs> or per- so they're like, when I put on the purple shirt, they're like, I'm no longer daddy. It's Markham. <laughs> <laughs> That's incredible. Well, Mark, first of all, because I know there's probably people that are unfamiliar with Markham, but tell us the inspiration behind Markham. Like what led you, Emily and Daniel Hussam, to really develop the show for children, blending catechism and entertainment? Yeah, I think I want to say just the the real heart behind it is, yeah, we have like great church teaching, but like what is Catholic lay doing? And I think that's what we really wanted to hit is like, what is your everyday Catholic doing? Mm. And there's some really fun just jobs out there that we can really hit and like inspire kids. Like if they don't choose like a priest or a sister or uh, religious life, like what are some things that we can inspire, make fun, and just you know add some Jesus in there. Yeah, and like you've so far, I mean, you're you're at what three seasons now, and you've covered so yeah. many different variations of uh, of careers, like from police officer, even surfing. Like it's just yeah, it, it really broadens the spectrum that pretty much everything um, that we do can be related back to our relationship with God. And that's just an incredible way to to do that for children. Um, but as the host of Markham, what aspects of your own faith journey do you infuse into the show? Like, how does Markham's character reflect your Catholic faith? You know, when I was kind of brainstorming this character, I was like, I still want this character to be me. Like, I don't want to create this imaginary fictional character. So what I did is I just put, I guess, kind of like my childlike self, like just like back in scripture, like just being that childlike person, that childlike heart. And what does that look like to like enter the being the one that's the first one in the into the kingdom, bringing that excitement, that joy um, and that curiosity. Mm -hmm. Um, And I think that's what Markham is or that's what I try to display on screen, that joy, curiosity and love for Jesus. And you can absolutely sense that uh, I, you know, for one, we were just talking about earlier in the show about that sense of wonder that sometimes adults seem to lose. And then when we're bringing up children, we, we, it's hard for us to relate to that first wonder that these children are experiencing as adults. So, it, yeah, it really <laughs> kind of helps um, us adults, too, as we're kind of watching it to be like, OK, I need to, I need to be need to be more childlike sometimes. But um, yes, absolutely. Yeah, but you're listening to Morning Joy, where truth matters. I'm Keith Downey, your host, and you know when, when, when are we going to get the episode, Mark, uh, Mark, about Markham contemplates the last four things? I'm kidding, okay, but uh, the show Markham aims to really inspire this love of Jesus and the Catholic faith. So, how do you? I mean, it must be somewhat challenging, you know, striking a balance between catechesis and keeping young viewers entertained. Yeah. Um, I'm sorry. Can like, you, how do you do I, it? I guess, how do you, how do you keep how, that balance? How do I do that? <laughs> yeah, yeah. How do you do it? Uh, how do I do that? I mean, honestly, I do a lot of prayer before like filming an episode and I'm just like, you know, I can say I can do this and I, and I have the talent and everything. Like, yes, I've practiced like improv and comedy and children's entertainment for years, but I mean, that can only go so far. And then 
because I get stressed out sometimes, or I worry. I'm like, what if I'm not doing this right? What if I improv wrong? What if I say the wrong thing? And that's where I'm just like, okay, Holy Spirit, just you need to take over now because I'm just going to worry about it. And I just say, you know what? Me and the Holy Spirit are going to just have some fun today. And I just got to get into that prayer moment or that kind of prayer feeling of like, all right, it's just, it's me and Jesus doing this, not just me. <laughs> and I think that's where the real entertainment comes in is just letting go. Right. I, I think pretty much anybody can can take that into heart as far as whatever we're doing, whether it's we're, we're working in an office setting or maybe we're working out in the field. Like, wh how, wh why are we doing this? We're doing this for the glory of God. And um, absolutely. It's yeah, it, it, that is also seen within the, the show Markham. But I'm curious to know, uh, is there a, a memorable moment of maybe feedback you've received from parents or children who've, who've been watching Markham? Uh, <laughs> yes, um, probably my favorite because, you know, and the my wife says, you're you're Catholic famous. And I'm like, <laughs> I'm a convert. So I'm just like, what does that mean? <laughs> <You know? laughs> But then again, like Emily Wilson, who helps like produces the show and made this thing happen. Uh, my most memorable moment, I was at Target and this mom like jumps in front of me like I'm in my car and she's like, are you Markham? And I'm like, <laughs> I'm nodding my head. Yes. And she's like, my kids need to say hi. And I'm like, cool. <laughs> wow. So that was like, I didn't, I would never expect that. <laughs> Do you get recognized when you go to mass? Yeah. Yeah little especially little kids i think that's the best is like i only get recognized by the the children and i'm like mm -hmm. this this is awesome this is this if you want any type of fame it's where the kids are like looking at you i i can only bet how do, but how do you stay grounded because obviously you, you get all this attention like it's you know especially from like the my my point of view you know social media when people recognize you it's, it's like it's like oh wow people people know me this is this is very interesting but how how do you stay grounded in all that um, again, I think for me, everything comes down to prayer mm. and I, I still need to be better at that, to be honest. <laughs> um, I, maybe that's for everyone as well, but me like prayer is the core to everything and, um, prayer will keep you humble and that will just keep you in union with God. But I want to say I've had a pretty humble upbringing as well. Like I don't really come from any place special, so I've, I want to say my parents kind of instilled that humbleness too, um, because everything is a gift. So mm -hmm. to me, like this journey of Markham is such a fun gift. Mm -hmm. um, why would I spoil it on a... <laughs> on a fame attitude, I guess. <laughs> yeah. That makes sense. I mean, we, we were just talking about formation of our parents. They're being kind of the first catechesis. And they said, you know, you, you mentioned they kind of taught you how to be humble. And uh, that's, 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 that's incredible. Um, is there any episode that you like is your top favorite, whether it's, you know, behind the scenes or, or something that you're just really like excited to share? Um, probably it's, it hasn't been released yet. Um, but it's, it's the soccer episode. Um, cause I, I grew up playing soccer. I love soccer. I enjoy watching it, but it's with Elliot Panico, who is a really great devout Catholic and a soccer player, um, who plays in Nashville. And I'm really excited for that episode because it's something, I mean, I'm passionate about, I'm entertaining with kids and Elliot is an awesome dude. Um, mm. so it's kind of like a, a two for one or for me. <laughs> <laughs> That's so cool. Uh, now, I guess uh, you might not be able to explain all the details of it, but what yes. what is the future of Markham look like? That is a great question. <laughs> We're still kind of going season by season here and just hoping like, it, I mean, I would love to make this like a full time occupation if, it, if this would if this could really take off. Um, so I'd say the future is still kind of, you know, in God's hands, um, whether it goes four seasons or if it goes to a hundred seasons, that, that would be awesome. But I think it's, it's just kind of up to the Catholic community and, um, if kids really enjoy it. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, that's the fact that you're being spotted by, by parents and children. I, I think it is some, it, uh, God is definitely using you as a tool to help share the faith to to children. And I even think about my own daughter, like she starts like saying these things. I'm like, what 
Did you hear that from Markham? Because I don't remember teaching you this. This is fantastic. Thank you, Markham. <laughs> but um, so we can find more information all about Markham at MarkhamShow.com. Is there anywhere else we can find information about the show? As of now, all I can say, it's it's on formed, but um, maybe in the future, it, it will be expanding to other places, other apps. Got it. And it's spelled just for those out there that uh, haven't been to it. M A R. No, I, I'll tell you what. How about you spell it out, Markham? Okay. <laughs> if you want to see more videos of Markham, just spell my name or search it. M A R C A M. Markham. Perfect. And we can also find you on all social medias as well. Um, before we have just like a, a couple moments left, is there anything you'd like to share with our listeners as they start their day? Wow, man, I feel like that's a lot of pressure, but <laughs> no pressure. Um, <laughs> I would say, you know, today, you know, since we're on the theme of Markham, try to go in with childlike joy and just look for Jesus wherever he's at. Beautiful. I love it. It's simple and it's so true. My goodness. Thank you, Mark, for hanging with us. Now, obviously, we can send MarkhamShow.com, M A R C A M Show.com for more information about the show. And if you have formed.org, uh, or if you're looking to get that, you can also watch all of all three seasons now of Markham. And, and I highly recommend as a parent, I can say it's been very fruitful for my children. So thank you, Mark, for joining us this morning. And that's it. That's it for Morning Joy. Now, there's a couple things. Okay, first, if you're going to be staying here and listening to the Holy Mass coming up next, please pray for us. We always ask for your prayers, and of course, we will always pray for you every single day. But the second uh, option here is that you can stay and, and listen and join in on our after show clubhouse. This is a way for you to kind of relax a little bit, more relaxed environments where you get to hang out with us after the show as we debrief the show, kind of talk about some of the elements, uh, get a little more personal. It's a way for you, like I said, to, to join in the conversation. Just search morning joy radio on youtube rumble instagram or grn online as they produce the show but hey if this is us parting ways of course we always like to say god bless and make it a joyful day we'll see you bright and early tomorrow morning 6 a.m central 7 a.m eastern here on morning joy the truth matters this has been morning joy where truth matters hosted by keith downey Take some joy with you today. Visit grnonline.com slash joy to listen again. Share a segment or answer the question of the day. That's grnonline.com slash joy.